Alrighty. So, it's been a really, really long time since I've vlogged. Like, a year or so. I mean, I don't know exactly. I didn't look. But, there's something big going down. Uh, I bought a second car to use as a daily driver, which means the Corolla is finally going turbo. And you see that little manifold there? Look at that. Also, slight donut media plug. Love those guys. They're great. Bo's here at helping me. Um, I have an engine stand. We're at my place, not at Bo's, because I'm not going to leave my car at Bo's house for months. Um, so uh, I've got an engine stand. I don't have an engine puller. Uh, we're going to go borrow one from Justin uh, here in like an hour-ish. Um, but until then, we're just getting everything disconnected and all that. So radiator is out. Exhaust manifold's out. Uh, those leaves are not out. I'm going to have to work on that. So... <laughs> Um, last time we pulled the motor on this thing, it was for uh, clutch. It was a couple of years ago. So we learned that crankshaft pulley needs to come off because otherwise it like hits on the frame. So yeah, we're just, uh, I'm just gonna try to keep updates on this. I want to get a vlog of the whole car going turbo and everything because this has been my dream for years. So I just figured I'd uh, get you guys updated on what's happening here and yeah, we'll uh, we'll pick back up when something else big happens. Alrighty, so we've got basically everything disconnected. There's like one one part of the harness that goes under the intake manifold is where we'll get it while we're pulling the motor. We, we've done this before. Um, right now we're going to get an engine puller um, because Bo's neighbor is borrowing his, so we can't use his. Um, so we're going to uh, Crown Coat. Slight plug for Crown Coat. If you guys need anything detailed or ceramic code, uh, go to Crown Coat. I'll link their website in the uh, description of all of these videos for this uh, because they did contribute to the turboing of the Corolla. Um, so they do a really great job. But anyway, we're going to Crown Coat. We're going to pick up their engine puller, get some long bolts to you know mount the engine to the engine stand, and then uh, and then the motor should be out tonight. And I think we'll we'll call that in the night and then uh, probably I don't know what we'll do we'll figure out get, get some get some things done but I figured I'd update you guys that's what we're doing right now we're going to get the uh, engine puller so I'll let you know when we're at Crown Coat. We have the, uh, the engine puller there it is we're heading back home and uh, we're gonna get this motor out it's gonna be lit all right we're here we're pulling the motor, and uh, can't pull a motor without two hands, apparently. Twisted T's. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Not a sponsor. That's what I'm talking about. So let's get let's get this baby pulled, and uh, don't mind about the fact that I can't drink. Boys, we did it, and uh, honestly, in record time. I think we did this faster than we ever got any of Bose motors out. I mean, this was fast. Is what the disconnecting process took us? I'd say, forty-five minutes, and this whole thing took us not even a half hour. True. But this is an older motor. There's less to disconnect. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, motors out. We're taking the flywheel and clutch and stuff off because uh, these. These little things on my motor mount are a little too long for some of the bolts that I have. So I want to cut them. Uh, but if you cut them, then you don't have enough room for your engine to sit here with your flywheel and stuff. Um, so I'm going to cut those, and then we're going to take the flywheel and clutch and all that off. And, uh, and then uh, mount it up on there. So we'll be sick. We'll be sick. Um, I'll revlog when we get it back onto the motor mount and we start tearing stuff apart. So let's get rocking. It's official. The motor is out of the Corolla and it ain't going back in without a turbo on it. Uh, hopefully. I mean, you never know what could happen, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do everything I can to make sure there's a turbo on this motor when it goes back in. So anyway, uh, motor's out. Got it on the engine stand. We're going to go head down to uh, Domino's, Domino's and uh, say hey to Bustin'. And then, um, yeah, 
We might, we might just call it a night. It's already like 9.30, so we'll see. So it's the next day, obviously, and I've started on the uh, breakdown of the motor. That's why I'm still wearing these same dirty clothes. Um, and I haven't really moved too much. Um, but I do have the valve cover off, the spark plugs, my little crank case breather, my PCV. I have not changed those spark plugs in a little while, and some of them had a little bit of oil. This one, so I've got them in order of one, two, three, four. Cylinder three had a lot more oil in it than I would like to be in my, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But this motor is getting a full rebuild, so ain't gonna worry about that. Also, keep in mind this motor has 291, I believe, somewhere around 290, 290, 1,000 miles on it. It's got a lot of miles. And for the past four years, you know, I bought it at 246,000 miles. So I've put close to 50,000 miles on this motor with the way I drive it. I mean, you guys have seen my vlogs. You know how I drive. Um, and uh, it actually doesn't look too bad. The oil, I mean, the oils flowed really good throughout at least throughout the whole head. It's kept everything in here oiled nicely. Um, I mean, you can see the cam lobes are, you know, they're just getting old. They've got miles on them, but they're not. I and mean, I've seen worse cams before. And I've seen cams that look a lot, a lot worse than that. And my timing belt, I'm impressed with my timing belt. I was, you know, honestly, up until I bought the Subaru, I was a little bit scared that my timing belt was not in good condition. And it was cracked or something, but I mean, you can see if I, I mean, you can see it, it's really not too bad. It really is not. So yeah, I just figured I'd give you guys an update now that I've got it opened up and everything and let you guys see, you know, even with this many miles, it's, uh, it's not looking too horrible. So, I mean, I'm still going to rebuild it because I'm not going to put boost through a 291,000 mile motor, no matter how good the oil looks in the head. So, but that is an update, um, and I'll update you guys a little bit more as I uh, tear more apart. All right, it's been a little bit of time, but that's only because I'm being really, really careful with all my bolts. I'm like, just, just don't want to mess anything up, um, but got the cylinder head off. And I'm a little bit afraid to show you guys, but this is going to be it. Yep. Cylinder 2 has some gnarly carbon buildup. Not that the other cylinders don't, but Cylinder 2 more than any of them. And then I flipped the head back over, but you'd say the valves look kind of the same way. They're pretty gnarly. But like I said, 290-ish thousand miles, that's close to 300,000 miles. I mean, hell, if you factor in how I drive it, I mean, physically, the motor's got 290, but mentally, she's got a lot more than that. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, the head is off. I think I'm just going to maybe do a few more things, um, take the caps off of the valve springs and stuff, and uh, just kind of clean up and call that a night for now. Um, so I'll probably be uploading this here Monday night, so this will be a Sunday Monday. Um, and then I don't know how much I'm going to keep up with it just because, you know, tomorrow night I might just come in and just do a quick little valves job. Um, and that'd be a short video. So um, I'll probably combine a couple of days here and there of what I'm doing. But uh, if you guys want to see the short little videos of just like, hey, this is what the valves are like when they're on. This is what they're like when they're off. Um, I do have a TikTok. Uh, I'm going to link that in the description of the video. And that's going to be more of those little shorter videos of the build um so but yeah anyway i'm so <laughs> unbelievably stoked i've been wanting this for like three years um but i'm gonna probably just clean up and get ready to pack it up for the night um so anyway thanks for watching like and subscribe like i said go check out um crown coat if you need anything detailed or cleaned uh if you're in colorado um they do an amazing job i'm gonna put their website and i think their instagram as well in the bio of this video. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.